What is going on YouTube? My name is Joe. You're watching my variety channel and this is the first video I'm doing um, with a new setup. Um, for Christmas I got a ring light set or it's like a tripod. There's a place where the light is for my phone and there's a place on the tripod itself for uh, my iPad, which is what I'm using to film. But today I thought I would show you all some uh, some recent puppets. Um, so, um, I'm going to start things off with uh, everybody's favorite. <laughs> At least my favorite. Uh, start things off with Kermit. Why not? Mm -hmm. Why not? So, Kermit was made back in April 2021, and the idea for this project came from a, a uh, puppeteer and puppet builder on YouTube named Adam Krutinger. Um, definitely check out his channel. Late, recently, he renamed his YouTube channel from Krutinger Puppets to um, Puppet Nerd, so definitely check him out. But yeah, he inspired um, this project uh, after I watched a video from him on where he turned a uh, plush Kermit into a puppet. I thought, I'm going to give that a try. That way I didn't have to save my money for buying a professionally made replica. And even though this isn't really a replica puppet, it does look very accurate to to the real. And what's great about it is that I can fiddle with his expressions, something that I couldn't do on my first one. Good grief. But yeah. Of course, I've given him um, posable fingers using paper clips. Of course, I didn't glue the fingers very well, but you know, what are you going to do? Maybe I'll give him a re gluing. And of course, I gave him arm rods. Um, which I bought on eBay. And it's also where I bought the, the plush Kermit. It was made originally for uh, to help promote the, uh, the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade um, where Kermit was known as Kermit the Frogtographer. So, so that's Kermit. Now for two other, for two of characters that I have I thought I'd show you um um what these characters that I got in a uh, lot on eBay with some other puppets um of course it's not easy to put them both on <laughs> but you make do um So here we have a, a very old version of Bob and Larry. Of course, these are more made for like children's uh, hands, but but you know they're pretty easy to perform. Um, shame the mouths don't move, but that's okay. You know, it's uh, you make do. These were by C. R. Gibson, um, produced back in the '90s. Um, and they use like a different material for like the inside of the eyes here. Like, like it's not fleece. It's probably um, like a pillowcase kind of material or something. And then the pupils are plastic. So that's an old version of Bob and Larry. But I also have a newer version of... Bob found him on eBay too and he's like a, a really high quality of a, of a build and the inside of the eyes are very soft too they might have used like don't know if they used fleece they probably did use fleece but I don't know what kind whether it be Antron fleece or standard fleece but um, but yeah it looks really good I hope to find a newer version of Larry so that way I can have them both Yeah, he looks really, really, really good. 
He fits my hand really well, and he's nice and big, too. So, like, if I'm performing him for, for like, videos, I can, I can have him like this. Hi, kids. I'm Bob the Tomato. Welcome to Veggie Tales. Now, Larry won't be with us today. He's helping out some kids at a toy drive, and I think that's great. All right. So that's a newer version of Bob. Now here's another character that wasn't really made as a puppet um, when Vigitales was starting out back in the 90s. Um, but now he is a, he's now made as a puppet in the 2000s, now the 2020s. Um, or maybe sometime in the 2010s, but take a look. It's Archibald. And he's a very basic puppet. Um, kind of short. He doesn't have the extra sleeve, but, but like if I'm wearing a shirt that's like this same shade of green, then it'll blend in really well. Except the, the uh, except for the, uh, you know, <laughs> Yeah, he's a very high quality of a build. He includes the bow tie and a monocle. The inside of the monocle is clear plastic. Clear soft plastic. And I actually got him back in 2013 or so when um, Vegetales Live was touring the country for their for the show Happy Birthday Bob and Larry. Now next there's another guy that that was given to me um, when I moved out here to Panama City, uh, or before I made the move out here. Um, one of the residents at my first job, um, she gave me a little gift bag, and she said, eh. "Am I?" I'm, she said, "Don't open this until you're out on until you're out on the road." So, I did exactly like she said, and so we have this little guy. Now he's a very basic puppet. He's he was used according to um, the resident. She used him to help teach kids about God when she worked in a church and was part of their puppet ministry. So, yeah, it's a nice quality of a build. Um, he doesn't have anything that I can control aside from the mouth. So, so it's just a basic hand puppet, you know. Of course, you could do this, but, you know. And I don't know what to name him. Um, when I look at him, he reminds me so much of the character Peanut from uh, Jeff Dunham. I don't know if y'all have heard of him, but but since Peanut um, doesn't have any arm rods when he's on stage with uh, with Jeff, um, he uh, Jeff controls him with like this. Like that. Right? Uh, yeah. Do you know how much I actually hate you? <laughs> Shut up. I know. But yeah, he reminds me so much of Peanut. Um, maybe I'll call him Mac Nut for Macadamia Nut. I don't know. <laughs> so, now these last two characters, um, these were given to me. This one being a Christmas present in 2021. And the last one you'll see was a birthday present from this year when I turned uh, 24. So, ah, so here we go. This is the first Disney puppet that I have from the puppet company Folkmanis. It's Pluto. Woo, woo. Yeah, he's, he's really cool. Um, Ever since um, I saw a Disney Dan's review on these puppets, um, I knew I wanted them. <laughs> so, 
I start off, so I'm starting off with um, characters that are vo that are voiced by Bill Farmer, originally voiced by Pinto Kolvig, but today voiced by Bill Farmer. But they each uh, of the uh, folk Madness puppets from Di the uh, Disney puppets from folk Madness, they have their their own little gags or gimmicks about them. For Pluto, he's got these little rigs in his toes, and when you squeeze them, his ears pop up. Here's the first ear. Here's the other ear, and now, if I can get it, here's both. Woo! Woo! Good boy. And now, for the last one. Now this character is pretty big, and I'm not just saying that because he's famous. I'm saying he's pretty big because the puppet is really big. <laughs> All right. There. Okay. All right. So here we have Goofy. And he's also by Folk Manus, and he was given to me as a birthday present for my 24th birthday. He looks really nice, and for his kind of dagger gimmick, He's got fully gloved hands, so he's a glove-handed puppet, which means he would take two puppeteers to operate. I would be the first, and I'd have somebody else be the second. I would be working the left hand and the head to operate the mouth, and i have somebody else work the right hand. Now, putting your hand inside this glove, it's a little different from, from other glove hand puppets I've tried, um, such as... Um, this guy you might have seen um, in some videos from uh, Clackamas Community College um, during their student performance Zoom cases. <laughs> and you know, we were distancing ourselves and having to learn virtually. So as, you, as you can see with this guy, he's um, he's a lot similar to to the kind of the kind of glove hand puppet you would see on television or in film or on stage, but but Goofy's not like this. Um, instead of having my hand like this, I have to have my hand in like this. So what you would think would be my thumb going into his thumb that's wrong. Um, eh. He's not easy to put on, but you know, as I practice with it, it'll get easier. It'll become easier for me to put to take on and take off. So my four fingers will become his four fingers. So my index finger would be his thumb my middle finger would become his become his um his index finger my ring finger would become his middle finger and my pinky would become would go into what would be his ring finger because he has four fingers the standard number of fingers for a cartoon character but he looks really good i only folks oh yep but yeah he looks really good uh, uh, anything you want to say before we go, Goofy? Gorge! If you fall off a mountain, just get back up there on the top. Oh, yep! I am don't give up. Oh, ho, 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 ho. All right, well, thanks, Goofy. Um, We'll see you soon. So, thank you guys for watching. I really hope y'all enjoyed that. Um, please be... Blah, blah, blah. Please be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss any uploads. And if you'd like to see any more puppet videos um just let me know um i'm actually working on a little project with goofy um just a test but um when that video is done i'll put it on here for y'all to see so until my next video keep your feet on the ground and keep reaching for the stars